We have some more problems related to square root and in this problem we have for each of the following numbers find the smallest whole number by which it should be divided so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the square number so obtained. So we have two numbers 2925 and 2645. These two numbers according to the problem are not square numbers. In each of these cases you have to find a whole number so that when you divide the number by that whole number you get a resultant number that is a square number. You have to find that whole number. So let's take this first number that is 2925. Now we have already discussed this point that whenever you are dealing with such problems like this one you always opt go for the prime factorization method. So this is 2925. Now first check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 2 is 13 plus 5 is 18. The sum of the digits in this number is 18 which is divisible by 3. So start with 3. This is 3 times 9 is 27. Then 27, 3, 7, 21 and 3, 5, 15. Then you have 3 times 3 is 9 and 5, this one. And now this is 3 to 5 plus 5, 10. Now this is not divisible by 5. Now you will have to divide this by 5. So 5 times 6 is 30 and 65. Then 5 and 30. And then you have 30. Okay. So the prime factorization of this number 2925 is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 13. Okay. So this 3 is in pair, this 5 is in pair, this prime number 13 is not in pair. So clearly 2925 is not a square number and that was already given to us. Okay. So what can we do or what that whole number can be if when you divide this number by that whole number so that you get a perfect square. So in this case clearly if you want to make this a perfect square get rid of this 13. So if we divide this by 13 if we divide this by 13 then clearly this will get cancelled right. So what you are, what we are left with we are left with then 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 right now 3 is in pair 5 is in pair a perfect square number if you get rid of this 13 but when we are dividing this by 13 what we are actually doing we are actually dividing this number by 13 right because this is a prime factorization of 2925 so when you divide this by 13 it means that you are dividing this number by 13 so let's divide this by 13 so you can easily calculate from here what is this actual number 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 5 is 45 and 45 times 5 is 5525 and 225 right so this is 225 when you divide this 2925 by 2 uh, by 13 you get 225 now this is according to this number this is a square number now so what is the square root square root will be take 1 3 from here multiplied by 1 5 from here you get 15 okay so 15 is the square root of 225 and 225 is that square number which you get after 2925 is divided by 13 so 13 is that whole number which we require so that when we divide this number by 13 you get a square number. Now let's see for this one 2645. In this case 2645 first check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. 
2 plus 6 8 plus 4 12 plus 5 is 17 it's not divisible by 3 so you'll have to start by dividing by 5 so 5 times 5 is 25 then 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 9 45 now this is 529 it means that it's actually 23 times 23 Okay, this is 23 times 23. 23 is a prime number. It is not divisible by any other number, any other prime number. It's only divisible by 223. So the prime factorization of 2645 is 5 multiplied by 23 multiplied by 23. Clearly, 23 is in pair but 5 is not in pair that makes that tells us that 2645 is not a square number and it was already given to us in the problem so what that whole number can be so that when we divide that whole number divide this 2645 by that whole number so that we get a square number clearly get rid of this 5 so divide this by 5 so you get rid of this 5 now you have what 23 multiplied by 23. So when you divide this by 5, what we are actually doing, we are actually dividing this number by 5. Right? So what this number is, let's divide this one, 2645 divided by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 1, 14, 5 to 10. Sorry, we have already this one here. So we will get 529. It's already we have gone here. 529. Okay. So 529 is that square number which is which we get after this 2645 is divided by 5. And 5 is our that whole number. 5 is that our whole number. Now if you have to tell the square root of 529. We have already solved here, so it is actually 23 times 23, or you can take it from here. This is in pair, so 23 is the square root of 529. The students of class 8 of a school donated rupees 2401 in all for Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. Each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class. Find the number of students in the class. Okay, What's, what the problem says is, let's say that in a class there are X students. Let's say that there are X students. Okay, now the total collection from the class is, total collection by the class is rupees. 2401 total collection from these x students okay now each student each student actually donates rupees x that's what it's saying each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class so if the number of students in the class is x, therefore each student donates rupees x. Okay, so if one student donates rupees x, then x students will donate rupees x multiplied by x. This is what unitary method. So we get rupees x times x is equal to this rupees x times x has to be equal to then rupees 2401. That means x squared is equal to 2401. Right? Now you can calculate the value of x. So basically what we have to do is we have to find the square root in this case so square root of x squared 
means square root of 2401. This will give you x is equal to square root of 2401. Let's find out the square root of 2401. Now you can do it by using prime factorization method or by using long division method. Let's use the long division method. So you have 2401 and then using long division method. So make the pair, put the bar here, sorry, we start from the right. Okay, so what number can be here uh, so that its square is either equal to or less than this number? Clearly, you cannot make five, five square because that will be 25. So go for four. So four times four is four square is what? 16, you get minus, you get eight here and you get zero, one. And now this is two times four is eight, right? This is eight. Now, here, this is 8, if you multiply, if you put digit 9 here, and then this is 9, 9 times 9 is 81, and 8, 9 is 72 and 8, okay, it's divisible, so you put 9 here, this guy, 801. You should know this long division method, we have, you know, discussed in detail this method, you can watch those tutorials on long division method get remainder as 0 therefore square root is 49 so square root of 2401 is 49 it means that the number of students in the class is what 49 students 49 students and each student donates rupees 49 2025 plants are to be planted in a garden in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. Find the number of rows and the number of plants in each row. So basically, the information that is given to us is that you have to plant, we have to plant 2025 plants. Okay, these many plants are to be planted. Now, it's saying that each row contains as many plants as a number of rows. So let's say that we have x rows. We don't know. Here, that's what we have to calculate. So if we have x rows, just consider them all are of equal size. Okay. Now, if we have, let's say we have x rows, we have x rows, then in each row, you have you have what? x plants, same here, similar, right? So just, so let's say that we have x plants in each row. So in one row, you have X plants, therefore in X rows, you'll have X multiplied by X plants. This is what unitary method. So, x multiplied by x plants is actually how many plants? Is it is actually two thousand twenty-five plants, right? Now, this means what? X squared is equal to two thousand twenty-five. Now, we have to calculate the value of x. It means that you have to find the square root of these two. That is, you'll get x from here, and this has to be two thousand twenty-five. Okay. 
If you have to find out the square root of 2025, either you can use the prime factorization method or we can use the long division method. Let's use the prime factorization method in this case. You can use either one, either prime factorization or the long division method. So first let's check whether this number is divisible by three or not. Two plus zero is two plus two is four plus five is nine. Yes, it is divisible. Nine is divisible by three. So three, six, 18, three, seven, 21, three, five, 15. Let's check whether this number is divisible by three or not. Seven plus six is 13 plus five is 18. 18 is divisible by three, therefore three to six, then three to six and three, five. Now we have 225. Now, 225, let's check whether this is divisible by 3 or not. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 5 is 9. Yes, it is divisible by 5. So, 3, 7, 25 and 3, 5, 15. Again, 7 plus 5 is 12. Therefore, it is divisible by 3. You get 3, 2, 6 and 5. And you have now 5 and this one. Now, the prime factorization of 2025 is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. So 3 is in pair. This 3 is in pair and 5 is in pair. It means that the square root of this one will be get 3 from here multiplied by 3 from here and 5 from here. You get 3 times 3 is 9 times 5 is 45. It means that you have 45 rows. You have 45 rows and in each row, in each row, you have 45 plants. Find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. Now, 4, 9 and 10 are the three numbers. What is that smallest number that will be divisible by these three that is a common number? The first thing that should come to your mind is LCM, the least common multiple. Okay. Let's check whether that least common multiple is a square number or not. Because if that least common multiple is a square number, that means that will serve our purpose of finding the smallest square number. Okay, let's check. So LCM of 4, 9 and 10 is what? So the LCM is 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 3 is 36 and 36 times 5 is 5, 6, 30, 5, 3, 3, 18. So LCM is actually 180. LCM is 180. Now clearly 180 is not a square number. It's not a square number. So now let's do what we can do is First, let me tell you one thing. Let's say that you have two numbers. Let's say take three times seven is what? 21. Now this 21 is, I'm just explaining you because that particular concept we are going to use in this case. Three times seven is what? 21. 21 is what? Multiple of three, right? It means that three is a factor of 21. Now, if we do 21 times, let's say, 7 right so you get 7 147 it means that 147 is what is a multiple of 21 but if you see here 21 is multiple of 3 that is 3 is a factor of 21 and 147 is a multiple of 21 that's 21 is a factor of 147 it means that if you check this 3 is even a factor of this one also 
And if you're wondering that why are we discussing this one? This is 180, not a square number. Let's make it a square number. Let's find that multiple of 180, which is a, actually a square number. And that will give us, that is smallest multiple of 180, that is a square number. And that will give us the smallest square number, which is divisible by each 4, 9 and 10. Because 180 is actually what? Least common multiple of 4, 9 and 10. So if we find the multiple of 180, it means that that number will also be divisible by 4, 9 and 10, right? The same concept that we are using here. Okay. So first let's do the prime factorization of 180. We start by 0. So 2 times 9 is 90. Then you have 45. Then you have 15 and then you have 5 and then you have this one. Now the prime factorization of 180 is what? 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. This 2 is in pair, this 3 is in pair, but this prime number 5 is not in pair. Okay, that gives us the answer. If we multiply this number 180 by 5, then actually we are getting a square number. Because in a square number, the prime factors are in pair. Now this gets in pair. So basically what this number is, this number is 5, 0, 5, 8, 40 and 900. 900 is actually what? Is a multiple of 180 and 4 9 and 10 since 4 9 and 10 are fa are the fa factors of 180 therefore 4 9 and 10 will also be the factor of 900 what's actually 900 900 is the smallest multiple of 180 that is actually a square number it means that this 900 is a smallest square number that is divisible by each of the following numbers 4 9 and 